Okay, today we're going to talk to you about the hepatitis B uh, profile panel tests. See these things up here, hepatitis B profile panel tests. Okay, so what happens is a lot of people are diagnosed with hepatitis B um, during pregnancy. They're tested uh, for work, for travel, for giving blood. Uh, they're tested because they're in hospital and there's some sort of illness at work. Um, sometimes they're tested because there's a symptom. Um, they might have gone yellow or something. Um, or just because they decided they wanted to get checked for Hep B, see whether or not they have that problem. Um, but many, many people are diagnosed without the full panel. With all of these, they tend to just do the Hep B test and say, oh, you've got Hep B. But it's critical to do follow-up testing. And the follow-up testing is when we do the full hepatitis B panel. So, to get straight to the point, um, here we see the, the markers for hep B. Um, and there are two parts to the hepatitis B virus. This is important, people. Try to get your heads around this, that we have surface antigen, HBSAG, and that is the basic Hep B virus. 90% uh, of patients test and they have Hep B, the basic virus. 10% of patients have HBEAG, the envelope antigen, and that's a higher level. Instead of a level of sort of between zero and quarter of a million, with the EAG, you get levels of 1 million to 2 billion. That's why it's so important to know what type of Hep B you've got. So those are antigens. AG means the virus, the antigen. Then below we have antibodies to Hep B. Now antibodies are great things and things not to worry about. Anti Antigens and antibodies. You see here, AB means the antibody. That's your friend. It's a lovely thing that will help you. Now, HBE antibody, EAB, is something that kills the E antigen for good. So if you test and you have HBEAB and no HBEAG, it's a very good thing. It means you have millions and millions less virus. Then the second antibody, HBSAB. And this is the antibody that kills the Hep B. It's the antibody that if you've got it, well, you won't have Hep B. Um, and then you have CAB. And this is your basic antibody. Everyone who ever has an infection creates a, what we call core antibody. Now... When you clear Hep B, the HBCAB stays behind. It's proof that you've killed off Hep B in your past. The last antibody is HBCAB IgM. This antibody lasts for about six months and it shows in acute infections that someone who just gets Hep B will have IgM. So you can always tell an acute infection because the IgM is present. Now, when you're looking at these results, the profile panel results, there are some stupid terms that confuse people. Um, sometimes they say Hep B surface antigen reactive. Well, it just means positive. It means it's there. You know, but they use two words. It means the same thing. And in the same way, non-reactive means negative, means it's not there. Same thing. This is the same way they sometimes say anti-HBS. Well, that means... Hep B surface antibody. It's a stupid term. It's a shame that they have different terms for the same thing. And stupid numbers. Um, sometimes in a profile panel, there are numbers next to the results. Um, but basically ignore them. If you look down here, um, you can see down the bottom here, uh, if, if you can see down there, um, you've got the surface antigen, and it's 6,860,000, it's a bit worrying. It just means reactive. You don't 
stress over that number, it just means it's there. And then anti-HBS, it says 3000, but it's not there. So whenever you're in, a surf, uh, in the profile panel, if you've got numbers, ignore them. Or look at whether it's reactive or not. That's what you need to be looking at. Right, moving on. So let's just talk about chronic or low risk Hep B. Uh, and these are the results. The S antigen is positive, and of course the antibody is negative. And the E antigen is negative, and the E antibody is positive most of the time. It doesn't matter if the E antibody is not there, um, it will have done its job and killed the E antigen. Now this is the most common result and it means low risk level. It means the virus level will be very low. So you're low risk as an infection. Most of these uh, patients are quite surprised that you know they're not sexually infectious. They haven't infected their wives or husbands in years of being with them. They're also low risk for getting ill. Um, and this type of hep B is usually very easy to manage. You know, if you're diagnosed with it, don't panic. You've probably had it all your life and uh, never really knew. No, because you're so well. You, you're very often not offered medicine for this because it's just a trace in your bloodstream. And what you have to do, though, is monitor it. That's tested at least once a year for liver function for these things. And avoid toxins getting fat on oily food, um, alcohol, um, taking vast amounts of prescriptions, painkillers for years, day after day, um, and you'll be all right. Um, there's our little angel saying that, you know, you should be all right with this. It just needs a little study. So this is the most common result. HBSAG positive, HBEAG negative. Um, and here's a little example of it. There you go. Uh, likely to be a healthy carrier. Positive, negative, negative, positive for antibodies. Fine. Now, high risk Cat B looks a little different. You've got the surface antigen positive, the E antigen positive too. And the antibodies, uh, the surface antibody, the envelope antibody are negative. So you've got a higher risk infection. About 10% have the E antigen on top, um, and this gives a viral level that's often above a million, 10 million, 100 million, billion, and this is a level that's, once someone gets to 30 years old, we usually give it medication. Um, and of course, annual or six monthly monitoring, uh, and again, those crucial um, advices on avoiding alcohol, uh, drugs, and getting really overweight. Moving on, and this is how it looks. Profile or panel test, uh, positive for the surface antigen, positive for the E antigen, and positive for the core antibody. Um, that's the way that that one looks. Now there's also this one cleared Hep B, um, and it's so important, you know, people often find that, like, oh, no, I'm positive for core antibody, and they, they go into a stupid state of thinking they have something wrong with them. Um, no, you, you had Hep B once in your life, and you got rid of it. Forget about it. You're fine. Yep. Yeah. End of. <laughs> you know, the, the virus is not there. There's no surface antigen. There's no E antigen. There's no virus. Um, it's just a trace of antibodies saying you killed it long ago. Now, this is incredibly common. About one in five humans have cleared Hep B in their lives. And this result is great news. It means you're safe for life from Hep B. It means uh, you, you can't get it again, and you mustn't think you're infected. And there is rumours of reactivation, but it only happens if you're um, almost dying of cancer or on powerful chemotherapy, or if you're almost dying of HIV and you've got um, no immune system left. Right, moving on. A acute Hep B. Now, when they do the profile panel, um, the HBSAG 
hat B is positive. You've caught hat B and you get the HBCABIGM positive result. This means it's the first six months. Now, sadly, uh, millions and millions of people around the world, especially I've noticed in Asia, sometimes in Africa, they actually don't know if they're acute or chronic. And this is because very often the countries don't have the ability to do the IgM blood test. So patients never realize whether they're acute or chronic. Always assume that the infection is a chronic one, especially if you've just been diagnosed and it's a surprise. An acute infection will usually have um, symptoms. You know, you'll be going yellow, you'll be feeling ill, you won't be wanting to eat food much, your tummy will ache, uh, your liver will ache. Um, this is an acute stage. You usually feel awful. Now, the acute stage only lasts six months. So in many countries where they don't have uh, the IgM test, they just they come back in six months to see if you're still infected, and then they work out your chronic. Um, but another sign of acute Hep B is that the ALT score at some point will go above a thousand or even up to two thousand, um, and that's an, an acute score. Moving on, the panel also, uh, when they test for these markers, will show up um, if someone has been vaccinated. You are HB, SAG, the Hep B virus, negative. You are having no signs of a previous infection, no HBCAB or anti-HBC, you're negative. But you will be positive for antibodies because you've had them in the vaccine, anti-HBS positive. That's another thing that we can see when we do a panel uh, test. Another um, panel test will show up if you've Never had Hep B, negative for Hep B, negative for previous infection, and negative for uh, a vaccination. So we'll also see that as well, that you've got no signs of any Hep B markers because you've never come across it or it's vaccination. And that is, is basically the hepatitis B panel. Just always keep it simple. Look for, do I have the surface antigen? Yes, I've got Hep B. Look for E antigen. Oh goodness, it's high risk. I've got to really do something about this. Um, look for uh, core antibodies and nothing else means I, I had it. I don't have it anymore. It's fine. Uh, but don't be diagnosed with Hep B and forget to do your panel is what we're saying. Do the panel. Find out what type of Hep B you've got. Um, there are one or two confused results. Sometimes you get the surface antigen, I've got Hep B, and then surface antibody, I've got the antibodies, and they're both positive at the same time. This is a mess. You've got to redo the test. This can't happen. You're one or the other. You've got it, or you're immune to it, but you're not both. Um, and this result can be a sign sometimes that someone's got Hep B and had a vaccination. So the two things are there in, for a little while. It could also be a lab error, and it could also be a sign of someone clearing Hep B, a very rare sign of someone clearing Hep B. You would get those two in the same place for maybe a week um, at the end of your six months of being an acute patient. And that's it. That's all we need to say about uh, the hepatitis B panel uh, test.